Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 21. Here we can see that there are two sources and it is not a standard Young's double slit arrangement because they are not parallel to the screen. Now they are asking us about the shape of the fringes. If you take a particular point on the screen at some height y, there will be some particular phase difference at this position. If you move on the screen in an imaginary circle like this, keeping the same distance y, the same phase difference is going to be there all along the screen, which gives us the idea that the shape of fringes is going to be concentric circle, which means that option number 4 is the correct answer. Question number 22. This is directly based on a very, very simple formula that the ratio of electric field and magnetic field in electromagnetic wave is equal to velocity of light and hence we can find out the value of electric field by multiplying magnetic field with the velocity of light and if you do that you get 6 volt per meter which is option number 2. Question number 23. In question number 23, they are asking variation of current with wavelength. Now, when we decrease wavelength, we are coming from this side to this side, from right to left. When we decrease wavelength, assuming there is constant in intensity of light, what we will notice that number of photons will decrease. Now, if number of photons is decreasing, we should, we should expect that the current should actually decrease as you go this way as you go this way current should decrease and if you come this way current should increase that would be the conventional idea but as you decrease wavelength there is one more thing which is happening that is photon photons are getting more energetic and if photons are getting more energetic the probability of excel of ex, uh, excluding an electron from the metal is increasing and if that probability is increasing, there are more chances as you decrease wavelength that each photon will be more capable of ex exciting an electron from the metal. And to achieve that, and since it is achieving that, the current is actually increasing rather than decreasing as wavelength decreases. Number of photons are decreasing, but the chances of electrons emission is increasing because of increase in energy of photons. So this would be the correct answer and that would be the option 4. As we know the LED is being used, is used in forward bias only. So IV graph is going to be of this shape only. Now the only point here is to be thought is that how it is varying with the frequency. So the variation with frequency is very simple. As you increase the frequency of light emitted from LED, potential bar barrier of diode is increasing. The potential barrier of diode is increasing as you increase the frequency of light. And by looking at it, you can see that this is red and this is blue. So as you are increasing the frequency, the potential barrier is also increasing. That makes the option first to be the correct answer of question number 24. Question number 25. Now, I would say this is the best question of this paper. Alright, it is on surface tension. And in this question, they are asking about evaporation energy, evaporation happening because of the surface energy. If you go by normal means, your answer may come out to be 3T by rho L, which is not any of the options. If you simply just take the volume and the total surface energy, 
you may get this answer which is wrong it is none of the four options now the idea here is this we have got a drop of radius r and let's assume that this portion of the liquid evaporates and the radius reduces by dr now the liquid which is gone evaporated is 4 pi r square dr that is the volume of this section into density that multiplied by latent heat is the requirement of the heat to evaporate this much liquid this will be coming out due to the change in surface energy and if it write surface energy as 4 pi r square into surface tension and if we do the derivative we get 8 pi r into t so this change in surface energy if we put it here we get l 4 pi r square dr into rho is equal to 8 pi r t dr and by solving it we get the radius as 2t by rho l this is minimum radius because if we take radius larger than this you can see that the increase in the requirement of heat will be more than what you can supply because here you have got square and here you have got only one power so if you get radius more than this value the requirement of heat will be more than what can be supplied by the change in the surface energy so this is going to be your final answer hence option 4 is the true correct answer